Oh, fuck. This is not a safe game to just turn on. It's like, no, we're going. Fight time. I'm like, I, all I did was boot up the game. Calm down. These random encounters will find you. Uh. Okay. Now back to trying to figure out what I was actually going to do. Probably the family office. Do I have a side quest left over that I want to try to do? What is that? Right, we do have some mystery items. Okay. I'm curious. <clears throat> I'm telling you, the ladies are all over me. They just can't get enough of the D. For Taguchi, that is. More like D for delusional. Now beat it. You're bothering the other guests. Not to mention wasting my time. Wait, is that Seiya talking to Taguchi san? He was supposed to be working on a tuna boat. Oh, Yagami san. Uh oh, Yagami san? Hey, Taguchi san, aren't you supposed to be somewhere right now? You know, like the middle of the ocean? Well, that was my intention. But I realized something, that no matter how hard I try, I still want to be the number one host in Kamurocho. <laughs> Plus, boats make me queasy in the first place, so I busted a mission back here as quickly as I could. Oh no. The progress we made was nothing. <laughs> we did nothing, we accomplished nothing. And does Taniyama-san know about your decision? Yeah. Nope, I haven't said a word to Aunt Fumi. She'd probably have an ulcer if she found out, yeah. Remember when you were going to supposedly pay back the wedding money? Like, with the job? So you ran away without telling anyone because you didn't want to do the work. Speaking of which, I made the mistake of hiring this Dumbo after listening to all his bragging and boasting. I wanted to watch him walk out on the very first day because cleaning toilets wasn't part of the job description. Yeah, it wasn't. And besides, I had no idea I'd get fired over it. The Gucci son. You really should have thought about your aunt before doing all this. Ah. Uh, how much have you paid her back since we last talked? I'm guessing not a single yen. Well, if this host thing pans out the way it should, I'll be able to get her back everything in no time. But how can you expect to be a host if you can't last a day on the job? That only happened because my talent was left unrecognized. Seriously, they don't even know what they're missing here. Okay, I've heard enough. You think you deserve another chance to work here? Then you're gonna have to prove it. Oh, does that mean I get my job back? That would only reinforce your habit of blustering through life, so no. Instead, I want to see how good you are getting a girl's attention. What? You mean, like, throwing out random pickup lines? No. What? I'm talking about being comfortable around women and finessing the conversation. That's how we make our living. Oh, well, I've talked to plenty of women before. Let's see, my aunt's a woman. So is my cousin. All right. I've come up with a perfect skills assessment for you. You and Yagami-san will face off in a contest of flirting. If you win, I'll see if I can get you rehired. Wait, why do I have to be involved? First off, I'm too busy to watch him myself. And second, isn't he part of some case you're working on? That means he's your responsibility. Besides, he'll probably learn his lesson if he loses to an amateur like you. I understand your logic, but I'm not his guardian. Well, well, Yagami-san, will you help me out? Otherwise, my future will be drowning in tuna and not the kind the hosts want. I will crush you. <laughs> yes, but only because I feel bad for Saya. I knew you were on my side. Aw, oh, you have no idea how happy I am right now. Oh, he's the worst. In every way. So, what do we need to do for this flirting contest of yours? Okay. Basically, you need to flirt with a girl based on my criteria of choice. And after you make first contact, take a cute picture with her before reporting back to me. Oh, and make sure you can explain this contest to her too. Sure is asking a lot from a complete stranger. 
<laughs> Any host who wants to work at Stardust should be able to do this half asleep. I don't even plan on being a host. I'll do it, Saya-san. Just tell me who to ask. Okay, how about... You find a girl wearing white, and Yagami-san, you find a girl wearing red. The first one back with a picture wins the contest. This is starting to sound ridiculous, but I guess I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah. You two are probably have no idea where to start, so let me give you some pointers. Oh, yes, please. So, girls who are on their way somewhere are generally cold prospects. Instead, find a girl who's just standing around. Okay. Also, you'll need to rely on your observation skills. Oh, you mean I should constantly be checking them out? Sort of. Since this is a competition here, talking to every girl you see might not be the best tactic. Instead, try figuring out what kind of girl would actually stop and listen to you. That will make or break your game. I see. So I really need to be observant here. Well, ready to get started? Ready, set, go. He, he's actually running away. He's doomed. Completely doomed. Uh... Shit. I thought that'd be a... I thought that'd be a reminder on the screen. Was I supposed to find somebody wearing white or red? Shit. Uh, she seems suspiciously placed as if she's specifically for this quest. Should I go with this girl? Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Huh? What do you want? Alright, I got this far. Now what should I say? Now these are great options. Are you going somewhere? You going anywhere right now? Why would you ask that? You don't even know me. Oh no, I, I was just thinking maybe you were lost and I could give you some directions. How about you get lost? I'm waiting for my boyfriend right now. Ah, I didn't realize. Sorry to bug you then. That was awful. Maybe I should pay more attention to who I want to ask next time. So there's somebody in red. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. Where the heck is Bartender? So she's looking for Bartender. So she's going somewhere. How many people wearing red are there anyway? And how far am I supposed to go? You don't count as part of the quest? Was I supposed to stay on that street? The first one back wins, so I better not go too far. Alright, so that's that's a boundary of the map. Dented carbon. Hey, any any ladies interested in my dented carbon? <laughs> There's no one in that alley. I don't even see anyone wearing red. I don't see anyone to talk to. I think I'll just talk to the bartender later, lady anyway. Even though she's clearly going to bartender, so the only one of the only rules I know is being crossed here. Should I go with this girl? Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, can I help you? All right, I got this far. Now what should I say? Going somewhere? I was just wondering if you were lost. Oh, as a matter of fact, I am. Gotcha. I didn't mean to startle you or anything. But I noticed that you seemed a little worried, so I thought maybe I could help. Huh, that's nice of you. 
So, where exactly are you trying to find? Oh, um, I'm looking for a place called Bartender. Hey, that's my go-to spot. I could always take you there. Actually, Tender's not even that far away, so I wouldn't mind guiding you there. Really? Are you sure? Totally. I know the owner pretty well, so I'd be a terrible friend if I didn't help one of his customers find his way. You're not some kind of stalker, are you? Here, why don't I introduce myself? My name is Takayuki Yangami, and I only stalk the bad guys. I'm a detective, you see. Oh, you are? Thank goodness. Then lead the way, detective. I'll get you there safe and sound. Whatever you do, don't pick anyone who's, try who's trying to go somewhere. And then like the, the right answer is somebody who's trying to go somewhere. God damn it. <laughs> I think there's only two people in red in the world. All right, here's Tender. Thank you so much. You were really a nice guy after all. Now, I hate to ask this, but I was actually wondering if I, you could do me a small favor. Oh, like what? Would you mind taking a quick photo with me? Huh? A photo? Together? Yeah. See, I got suckered into a contest to find someone who would take a, a cute picture with me. Pretty stupid, right? Wow, and you're actually going through with it? Huh, <laughs> that's pretty stupid. But hey, at least you're honest. That's my policy. If that's the case, sure. I'll take a picture with you. Just don't upload it anywhere, okay? Thank you so much. Where is she? There she is. Right, the right stick doesn't move the right way. Can I get closer to her? Because this is like a weird angle. <laughs> Every time. The stupid face. Wow, this turned out good. Now I'd love to talk more, but unfortunately I gotta get back first, so see ya. And then she goes inside and tells everyone about the stupid contest I'm doing and they all make fun of me. Uh-huh. Where am I? Ah. There she- there he is. It looks like I won, because I don't see him around at all. Hey, this is actually a nice picture. Didn't think you'd pull it off. Why? Why wouldn't anyone take a picture with the future Emperor of the Night? So you came back empty-handed. Of course I did. This whole thing's impossible. No matter how much I talked or what I said, they didn't want to hear it. Oh yeah? Well, I got a picture just fine. You did? Yep. He totally destroyed you, man. Damn, I had no idea you were such a player, Yagami-san. Yeah, and he's not even a host. If your game's not even on his level, you might as well pack your shit. No, I can't just skip up here. Not when I've come so far. Please, just one more chance. You want to become a host that bad, huh? Well, Yagami-san, you'll be the one facing him. Rematch, yes? For old time's sake. And if I beat you again, you'll give up this nonsense for good? Absolutely. A man is only as good as his word. Oh, then you're useless. All right, I'll play along then. Thank you so much. Come talk to us when you're ready to get started. So, shall we? Fine, let's do this. Remember, if you lose to me, you're going on a one-way trip to Tuna Land. Yeah, I know. Okay then, Saya. The criteria? Well, how about... Yagami-san, your job is to find a girl who's still attending school. University, junior college, doesn't really matter. Want to be kind of hard to find a student around here, though? <laughs> True. Considered a handicap since you won last time. Uh, Psh, more like handy crap. <laughs> you guys ready? First one back wins. Now, get out of here. 
I have to find a student, but I'm played by a 45 year old man. No one wants to hang out. Okay. Wait. Is she dressed in a schoolgirl outfit, but actually she's like 45? I think she is. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? Older looking high school girl, yep. Sure, you want to ask me out or, so, or so, to somewhere? Oh, she seems pretty open-minded. Let's hang out. Can we take a picture? Actually, can we take a picture together instead? Huh? A photo? Okay, but that'll cost extra. Uh-oh. Cost extra? What do you mean? Wait, don't tell me. You actually thought I was a schoolgirl? Even though I'm standing in the ritziest red light district in Tokyo? Ah. You're working for an image club, aren't you? Yep. If I look like a real high schooler, then that means I've still got it. Hehe. <laughs> Damn, what a waste of time. Oh, that's not nice to say. Uh, no. It's more that you are good at fooling my third-person camera that's very, very far away from you. <laughs> compared to Yagami's actual face. Which should have been able to easily tell that he, she was much older. Because he was standing like five feet away, whereas my camera's like fucking 20 feet away. Must find school girl... Which is just, like, this quest somehow got creepier. At least I'm just taking a photo, so whatever. But it's weird. This is a weird quest line. How do I find the right people? It seems less about following clues and deducing where to go or even spotting stuff and more like Sprinting up and down the streets until somebody has a dialogue box. Because there's like two of them total in the entire map, it looks like, each time. Doop, 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 bloop, bloop, bloop. That is a small child. I'm not gonna budge. I might cry though. Why is there. What, what is this? Whoa, a kid. What's the matter, little guy? I can't find my big sister! Oh my god, is that gonna be the high school girl? That's not good. Do you know where the police station is? Well, mom said- mom always told me you're not supposed to move when you're lost. Right, that's smart. Yep, so I'm doing a good job. He seems pretty mature for his age. Okay, but where's your sister? Is she, like, over here? The first one back wins. Oh. She looked not ma not happy that I was, like, charging face first into her. Okay. So I need to find some girl that's probably looking for his little- her little brother. Okay, so that's the boundary of the map. That's still the boundary of the map. I kind of wish they just showed it. Because it's semi-arbitrary. Uh, is it you? Panicking college girl. Oh no! Ren Chun, where did you run off to? Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? What? What do you want? You seem a bit panicked. Is there something wrong? Well, yes. You see, I was with my little brother, and now he's nowhere to be found. A lost child. He's about eight years old. You know, I think I've seen that kid. What? Really? Where? Should I take you to him? Yes, please. She just sank, like, two inches. That was weird. <laughs> right when the conversation ended. Zip! Well, I found the kid first. I'm just destroying the terrain around me. Whoop. Ren-chan!
Oh, sis, you came. I'm so glad I found you. You disappeared all of a sudden. I was so worried. Sorry. Thank you so much, sir. You really helped a lot. No problem. Is there any way I can thank you? Well, would you mind taking a picture with me? A picture? Sure, but why? The hell you think you're doing? Um... The hmm? Gucci-san? Just what is he getting into this time? Sorry, I didn't know you two you guys were together. Yeah, right. You're trying to use my girl as a wallet. I know how you host sickos think. No, that wasn't my intention at all. Bullshit. Get ready, get it ready to enter a world of hurt, motherfucker. Hmm. If I help him now, I'll almost certainly lose the contest. But if I don't, then Taguchi will lose several teeth. Am I gonna lose the contest? Taguchi is the competitor, so he's busy at the moment. Hey, you there. Iagami-san! You want something, man? Yeah, that guy's my friend. Sorry if he caused you any trouble. You think I give a shit if you're sorry? Then what do you suggest? Let me get a few hits on this bastard, and I won't take a no for an answer. Then try hitting me instead. Bet you won't land a single one. Fine by me. Hope you've written hope you've written out a last will and testament. Is it is it thugs plural though? Is it really? I'm, I miss when I used to be able to pick up motorcycles. I'm not spending heat action on you. Sir, get out from behind that car. Thank you. Those sports been like. There you go. Oh no, I dropped the bike and it disintegrated. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, somehow. I ended up talking to the wrong girl. But Yagami-san, that girl you were talking to earlier got scared and took off. Oh crap. Ah, uh, it's all my fault. I got us both disqualified. I put you in danger. Hey, it's fine. You're my client's nephew, after all. I couldn't just let you get hurt. Yagami-san, you're one badass dude. Let's just get back to Saya. So neither of you got a picture, huh? Then I guess that makes this a draw. Actually, Saya-san, our contest does have a winner. What do you mean? It's Yagami-san. He saved me from getting beaten up. If he hadn't stopped what he was doing and helped me, I'm sure he would have won. Yagami-san, is that true? Well, yeah. I was pretty close. Then you admit your loss, Taguchi. Think carefully, your dream of being a host is on the line here. It's cool. I don't want to cause you any more trouble than I already have. I owe you, man. You sure about this? Yeah. I'll go work on the tuna boat like I promised. I'm a failure as a host anyway. Wait. No one here thinks you're a failure, Deguchi. Huh? At first, I thought you were just another wannabe who talked big and couldn't back it up. But now I know you really can. You... you mean that? Yeah. And I've been watching you work your magic out there, too. You ended up talking away... Talking to way more girls than I expected. Well, I know I'm not the best looking guy, so... I figured I'd just talk my ass off until some magic actually happened. And you kept at it, too, despite how many times you got rejected. Of course, even though many of them said horribly crippling things that would scar me for years to come. <laughs> None of that really matters so long as my dream is alive. Besides, I'm sure there's at least one girl out there who can appreciate my style. I'm not sure where your confidence comes from, but 
I like that you stick to your guns. You're super enthusiastic, too. Yeah, I can see it working. I think that, with a little bit of polish, you could end up bring, being a pretty decent host. Then, does that mean... Yeah. I wouldn't mind taking talking to the owner for you. What do you think, Yagami-san? I guess as long as you pay your debt to Taniyama-san, it's fine. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Remember, your level of success in this industry is all on you. And there are times being a host is much more difficult than being on a tuna boat. I'll just have to give it 110%. No, 120%. All right. And I'll be holding you to that. Well, Yagami-san, guess this is it. I don't know what I would have done without you. Make sure to explain your situation to your aunt and get her approval, okay? You bet I will. I'll just work my Deguchi magic and Shibuya. Shibuya. Like Shibuya Station and stuff like that. Like. <laughs> She'll see it my way for sure. Okay. But do you really think it's that simple? Well. If I can persuade a strict old lady like my aunt, then talking to girls on the street should be a cinch, in theory. Maybe so. Then hope it all works out for you. Ah! Who's sending me messages? I want a drone! I appreciate you going to such great lengths to rescue me. The police are saying it was incredible you even found me at all. You were so cool, Yagami-san. I'm just glad you're safe. Thanks. Uh, if you hadn't come along, I don't even want to think about it. Are you taking any time off work? Actually, thanks to you, I ended up safe without a scratch. I hardly even need to. Are you sure you don't need to rest? Did this change the rant the last word on me? I'm fine. I feel better working anyway. Okay, but don't push yourself. I won't. Thanks for your concern. Oh. She's one of the girlfriends. Evidently. Now there are two. Well, alrighty then. To be continued.